11 Things You Should Never Clean With Baking Soda It seems like baking soda can get any job done, but it can actually cause damage when used to clean some surfaces. It's a great multi-purpose cleaner, and you can use it when you cook, to heal ailments around the house, and even to make crafts for your kids. But there are some instances where baking soda causes more harm than good. While it can help you with most of your chores around the house, make sure to avoid using it when cleaning these products. Before we continue, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and activate the notification bell to receive your daily dose of knowledge. Number one, glass. You're going to want to stick with Windex when cleaning glass surfaces in your house. Baking soda is an abrasive cleaner, so there's a chance that it will scratch your glass or mirror. If you're looking for an all-natural cleaning substance, we suggest using vinegar on your glass surfaces instead. Number two, aluminum. It's okay to use baking soda to clean your aluminum pots and pans, but it's important to remember to rinse them right after. Baking soda can cause aluminum to oxidize. Extensive contact will cause oxidation, which will turn the surface brown. Number three, ceramic stove top. Baking soda is great to use when cleaning cooktops, but avoid using it if you have a smooth top made of ceramic glass. It can easily scratch the cooktop and leave a white film that is hard to remove. If you accidentally use baking soda, vinegar will remove the white film. Number four, marble. You should never use baking soda to clean any marble or quartz surfaces. Over time, baking soda will cause damage to the upper protective layer and eventually leave scratches on the marble or quartz. Some websites recommend using baking soda on these surfaces, but stone manufacturers warn against it because they realize the potential damage that can be caused in the long run. Number five, wood furniture. Baking soda can be too hard on some finishes or sealants on wood furniture. Using it for cleaning can wear away the sealant, ruining the furniture. She suggests using a diluted dish soap mixture instead. Number six, antique silver. Although submerging your silverware in water and baking soda can quickly remove tarnish from it, the mixture is too abrasive and can cause it to lose its patina and tarnish more quickly afterward. We suggest bringing your antique silver to a professional for cleaning instead. Number seven, anything with deep grooves or cracks. Baking soda leaves behind a white, dusty residue after it dries. Therefore, you should never use it to clean surfaces with deep grooves or cracks because the residue will get left behind and can build up. Most things that fall into this category are best cleaned with a microfiber cloth. Number eight, your skin. Baking soda has a basic pH, while your skin is slightly acidic. Using baking soda on your skin on a regular basis will neutralize your skin's natural acid levels. It will leave your skin feeling dry and cracked. Number nine, your hair. Similar to your skin, using baking soda on a regular basis in your hair will strip it of its natural oils, leaving your hair feeling dry and brittle. Number 10, gold-plated dishes or utensils. Never clean your gold-lined dishes or gold utensils with baking soda. Gold is an extremely soft metal and baking soda is an abrasive cleaner. It will scratch and ruin the finish and cause the plating to wear off. Number 11, wooden floors. Similar to wood furniture, baking soda can wear away at the sealant used on wood floors. It's best to stick to cleaners made specifically for wood floors. So before you decide whether you should clean certain things with baking soda or not, try to double check and get the right info because you might cause permanent damage to your precious stuff. Hey, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to stay informed about our upcoming videos because more incredible content is on the way.